is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havel's. Moda, make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Hey out there, it's Mary Fonz and you're watching Quilty and this is a This Is My Quilt episode, one of my favorite things to do here on the set of Quilty. Tanya Hart, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It is very cool to have you here. Uh, we've not known each other that long, That's true. but we were talking quilts one day and you said you had this amazing quilt and so I was like, ooh, we gotta get you on the show. I so appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, so uh, I know one thing about you in terms of your textile past and like how you sort of got into this. Um, you do some teaching. Can you tell me about that? I do. I teach at the local city colleges of Chicago. Cool. And I teach an art appreciation class, mm -hmm. which is a general overview of a little bit of history of postmodern, modern history. Cool. But as well as just techniques and how mm -hmm. artists actually communicate visually. So you probably have all kinds of different students. It's a class that almost everybody has to take so sure. I, I, I normally don't get artists so I have to do a lot of communicating to a group of people that don't right. understand how visual mediums work right and that's something that can they can take and apply to all kinds of different areas in their life art appreciation is like I really hope so very important that's one of my goals <laughs> absolutely the quilt that you have I mean this is like I've never seen a quilt quite like this so I want I have lots and lots of questions for you so my first question is what is the material well, it's made out of ties, exactly. and my preference was silk ties, even though they're not all silk ties. Um, some of the designs were just like hard to resist. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So neckties are a popular material for, for quilts, but there's different things that quilters do do with them. You've arranged it in a way that I've never seen before. So tell me, tell me where you started. Like, how did you begin? Well, uh, my uh, brother-in-law and my sister were getting married, mm -hmm. um, and they were making their way to Australia. But my brother-in-law is six eight, so I knew it would be a big quilt. Cool, yeah. Um, and they were both pretty, you know, pretty much settled in the corporate world, and they were mm -hmm. so supportive of my artwork and my my career that way. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to make something really unique for them that they were familiar with, but also that they could use because you knew the bed was going to be king size right. at least. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's a big quilt. And I'm a big fan of big quilts because they're usable. You know, mm -hmm. these little tiny quilts are not so usable. And you were saying too, I thought something that was really neat um, was that this, the, the silk ties, or the mostly silk ties, it was the richest, oh. most luxe material you could find for the least amount of money, right? Absolutely. I, I thrifted all of these for at least a dollar or less. If I could do it, I would buy the whole rack. Sure. And see if I could negotiate even more or per piece, or less per piece, I should say. Did you did you clean them or wash them or anything before no. you use them? Yeah, yeah I, don't think, I don't think I would have either, honestly, but I just wondered because people have those I kinds of questions. I didn't use lots of stains on yeah, them. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. And you know, you also picked um, ties with like there's these little details like that little bicycle I love that I mean there's like in these little these wolves there's a surprise in every single piece I love scrappy anything yeah so this really you did it oh well. I appreciate that very much so you you began uh, and you did some color some sort of color I arranging collect, I did collect first and um, color is one of my favorite things in the whole world because I think that the pattern plus the color and then you can create these sort of varied you know, kind of color wheel, uh -huh. go from neutrals to reds to oranges, and that was just really the fun part yeah. of doing it. And yeah, it show. I mean, the the you have a good sense of that. Not everyone can read color quite like that, so this mm -hmm. is this is really well done. So, and what kind of thread did you use? Is it embroidery floss? It is, and so and it's a baseball stitch because I wanted to get the entire. I didn't want to butt up the or you know, overlay the, the tie so mm -hmm. I had a thickness to it because right. I realized it was going to be heavy already. So yes. I wanted to butt them up against each other and just use them as flat as a, in their natural state, basically. Sh show me the back, really. Just bend, sure. bend the back up because I want to see how, how you did. So you needed a foundation for it, really. I did. Yeah. No backing. So I didn't use any batting, just uh, the sort of silk on the back and then just quilted it, which was, this was the hardest part for me, actually. I'm sure. Because sure. I thought I could I could do it naturally, and I, it turns out I had to learn. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a learning curve too. <laughs> yeah, you know, sewing is hard. I mean, yeah. like making things can be really difficult. And you know, one of the things I want to tell the viewer right now is that on the, this is my quilt episodes. We feature the quilts that come from people's lives, and because in the quilting industry we do all sorts of very you know crisp, clean cotton broadcloth patchwork quilts that have been designed, and there you know there's all this fabric for sale, and you know it comes to the quilt shop. But the truth is, is that a lot of people start quilting 
with whatever they have or whatever they want to try. And so a lot of the stuff that we do on the show and in the magazine comes later because beginners start with sewing dad's ties together or you know going to the thrift store and seeing what they can find. And it's these kinds of quilts that I love, Tanya, because you, you were an innovator. You were a designer and an innovator. You did what you could with what you found and you made it creative and amazing. And now I would wager that if, you know, I gave you a copy of Quilty Magazine and, you know, the next quilt that you make, if you try sort of using the methods that actually make life a lot easier than what you did, I mean, this is a lot harder than what we sort of do typically, you'll be amazing at it. Oh, know? thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I aspire, and my mother-in-law is a quilter, and yeah. she's wonderful at it, so I always gather information from her and mm -hmm. kind of utilize it in maybe some different ways as well. So um, she's um, she's an amazing quilter. That's great. Yeah. Is, is, she, is she a fan of Fonts and Porter? By she chance? actually does, no. Good, You good, are, good. she's very excited <laughs> to hear. Good, I always uh, give props to my mom. You know, she came <laughs> way before I did, so I'm just along for the ride. But <laughs> Tiny Hart, thank you so much. This oh, is a thank great, you. great quilt, and I hope that you continue on your journey. I sure, surely will, and I appreciate you letting me show a lot of people. You got it, girl. <laughs> but take care and watch Quilty for more stories of quilts from your lives. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Arafil, Arafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics.